Welcome guys, this is Edwin and today we're going to be talking about the Emerson Appalachian. This is the production version and if I'm correct, I think this knife was released in 2019, last year. And again, the main task for this knife is a hunting knife. And let's start by comparing it with the classic CQC7B. Like you can see, is bigger than the CQC7B. This guy has a 3.7 inch blade and I think it was an 8.7 inch overall size. Now let me bring the Buck 110 right here. Okay, it's pretty comparable in terms of length. Okay, it has this beautiful, right? trailing blade or buoy style blade. I got a DM if I can compare it with a spider co. So yeah, of course. This is a one, one spider co that everybody should own, a tenacious. And it's definitely a bigger blade in terms of comparison with the Appalachian. And again, we're talking about this buoy style. So hey, we need to bring the classic CQC 13. That is the first buoy blade that Emerson released. And like you can see, it's definitely the Appalachian is a, a smaller, you know, the CQC 13 is a wider frame, wider blade, and a longer handle. Okay, that I really like that. But I should say, for skinning and for working with material and food and stuff like that, this Appalachian, the size of this is great in the hand. The handle doesn't get in the way and you can just point it like this, right? And work through that, you know, skin, if you are skinning and going through it, right? So it definitely works really well as a skinning knife, folding knife. Let me show you, it has that beautiful clip point or boy style, it's a V grind, meaning it's been grind in both sides. And again, it's a beautiful man, it's a beautiful blade. Like a lot of Emerson's, it has this wave. You have that finger guard there. G10, right? Classic construction, G10. Welcome to it. You have this curve here that it threw me off a little bit at first. Okay, I was concerned it was not going to fit my hand, but no, it's, it's good. And you know, and that's the other side. And again, I love that blade profile, really pointy. It's thick, you know, you don't, it's pretty good. I love that profile. In terms of handling, this curve here goes in your palm like that and and it feels good, it feels good. I still prefer the handle of the 13. Let me see if I can show that here without. I, I still prefer this handle, but we're talking two different monsters here, right? This is a bigger handle on the 13 for my hand than the Appalachian, okay? And this is, you know, it's a different monster here, right? This is, it's different. But again, it's not a bad handle, it's just different for a different task, right? For working with your with your animals or you know food or whatever you want to do with it. And again, it feels great. This curve in reverse grip feels excellent, I should say. And in this grip, it also it also feels really good. I don't have any any hot spots on it when I'm handling like that. Feels really, really, really nice. This is the profile when it's closed. Definitely a slimmer buoy. You know, it's very, very good in the pack, you know, small package there. Let me show you how it rides in the pockets real quick. Come on, let me put this here. Let's put the, again, it rides very good in the pockets no problem 
at all. You got enough purses there to, you know, to handle that. And that's, that's excellent, I think. Now, let me see. Let me show you with a deep carry pocket, right? It will be way, way deep there. Um, you know, that's a little bit too deep for me. But, you know, for the guys that like that, hey, you can see that profile in the deep carry clip. And again, it's one of those classic, I, in my opinion, Emerson does some of the best clip point buoy style folders, okay? And these two are perfect examples of what I'm talking about. This is the Appalachian. If you have any question, feel free to shoot me a comment. Follow me on Instagram, Facebook group, or USN Forum, okay? Thank you for watching. Bye.